Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how I made four vertical gardens for my husband's home office. We actually planned on making real gardens, like vertical gardens with real plants. However, what we had to consider was that the wall where Jack has his desk is not a solid wall. It's one of these, you know, thin kind of paper walls. And we were concerned that first of all, the pictures would be too heavy. And second, if there were any issues with moisture, the wall might get destroyed and we didn't kind of feel like renovating um, our home. So we have decided to go with fall plants. So this is what you're gonna see today. And if you wanna know how I made these, then please keep watching. For the four vertical gardens, I used picture frames from Ikea, stones in different sizes and shapes, also from Ikea, and three different plastic plants. Three guesses where I got them from, you guessed right, they were from Ikea as well. First, I removed the plastic cover from each frame. I also arranged the frames around a picture of Buddha I wanted to have in center, so that I knew how to position each frame and I made a photo of it. Then I took one of the frames and I started kind of playing with it first. I put in a few stones and positioned them randomly. And I started arranging cut off parts from the different plants inside of the frame just to get an idea of how it would look like. Once I could picture in my head what I was actually going for, I took one of the frames and I started gluing the plant parts and the stones inside of the frame. I wanted to achieve a symmetrical look. I thought that that way it would look more authentic because if that were real plants, if I would plant them inside of a pot, they would never grow in a symmetrical way. Since I was using hot glue, I highly recommend using some kind of a tool whenever you need to push the plants in place and hold them a little bit because the hot glue gets extremely hot after a while and you might burn yourself, which we definitely don't want. I did different grouping for each frame because, again, if that were real plants, they would never grow the exactly same way in each of the frames. And here is what the first frame looked like once it was finished. Since the method remained the same for each of the frames and I only did different grouping, I won't go over every single frame again. Otherwise the video would be too long and I'm pretty sure that you guys got the idea anyway. This project didn't take long at all. By the way, you can easily finish this in an afternoon. Once I was done with all of my frames, I hung them on the wall and then it looked like this. And now let's have a look at the details. So this is how I made these four vertical gardens. We are very happy with the result. As I have said at the beginning, we would have preferred having real plants. However, there is still the windowsill where Jack has some real plants. So it's not like everything is plastic in that room. And I also find that nowadays all the fall plants look pretty real. They don't look so tacky anymore because when I think 
um, of the time when I was a kid, the plastic plants, they just looked like plastic and it's not always the case nowadays anymore. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I think I'm done for now with decorating of Jack's room. There might be one more thing that I will create, but not in the next few weeks. However, I have a few sewing tutorials planned for you guys. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give the video a thumb up because that really helps the channel. You can also share it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as usual, I will list down below in the description box a lot of stuff, all of my Instagram accounts. I will list a link to my vlogging channel down below and you will find there also the music that I have used today, a few discount codes that I have currently for you guys and affiliate links. And I will think of a few videos or playlists that might be interesting for you and I will write them down as well. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I wish you a wonderful day and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon again. Bye.